Today's graduate school commencement ceremony is being st streamed live and also will be available on demand after the ceremony. The link for the live webcast and on-demand video for each ceremony is www.k-state.edu forward slash graduation. Please turn your attention now to the video board for the opening of today's ceremony. Welcome to Kansas State University's Graduate School Commencement. Graduate studies are the hallmark of a great research institution and serve society through the discovery of knowledge and creative endeavors. Kansas State University granted its first master's degree in 1871. Today, the university offers 107 graduate level programs to more than 4,000 students. Graduate students play a crucial role in the economic development of the state of Kansas, the country, and around the globe. It all begins with a passion for discovery, for learning, whether in the arts or engineering, in the lab, in the field, or in a classroom. This passion fuels success, resulting in prestigious scholarships, fellowships, patent awards, and scientific breakthroughs. With an esteemed and distinguished faculty to mentor them, the graduate experience at K-State is befitting a world-class institution. The mace, the robe, the hooding ceremony, are symbols of the high academic achievement these scholars have attained, placing them among the most learned people in the world. It gives me great pleasure to introduce Terry Ferguson, our bagpiper, and Dr. Virginia Hauser, our organist, who will perform today's music.
Would everyone please rise and join Miss Erin Kuhlman in singing our national anthem. You may be seated. Good afternoon and welcome. My name is April Mason and I serve as the Provost and Senior Vice President of Kansas State University. And it gives me great pleasure to welcome you to this, our commencement ceremony. Before we proceed, I'd like to introduce you to the members of our platform party. Please hold your applause until everyone has been introduced. Platform party, as I read your name, please stand and remain standing. Beginning at the audience's far left, we have Jackie Hartman, Chief of Staff and Director of Community Relations. Jeffrey Morris, Vice President for Communications and Marketing. Karen Berg, Vice President for Research. Geraldine Craig, Associate Dean, Graduate School. Michael Herman, Associate Dean, Graduate School. Cheryl Polson, Associate Dean, Graduate School. Nancy Kesselbaum Baker, Commencement Speaker and our Honorary Degree Recipient this afternoon. Carol Shanklin, Dean, Graduate School. Kirk Schultz, President. Helen Van Etten, Regent, Kansas Board of Regents. Amy Button Renz, President and CEO of the K-State Alumni Association. Amanda Martins, President, Graduate Student Council. Peter Dorhout, Dean, Arts and Sciences. Debbie Mercer, Dean, Education and David Rintel, President, Faculty Senate. Would you join me with applause for these individuals? You may be seated. Continuing with our second row, from your left, John Floros, Dean, Agriculture, and Director of the K-State Research and Extension. Tim DeNoble, Dean, Architecture, Planning and Design. Stacy Kovar, Associate Dean, Business Administration. Darren Dawson, Dean, Engineering. Brownwin Fees, Associate Dean, Human Ecology. Raju Dandu, Graduate Program Director, K-State Salina. Ralph Richardson, Dean, Veterinary Medicine. Sue Mays, Dean, K-State Global Campus. Lori Getch, Dean, University Libraries. 
Prema Arazu, CEO and Vice Provost, K-State Olathe. Pat Bosco, Vice President for Student Life and Dean of Students. Greg Willems, President and CEO, KSU Foundation. John Curry, Director, K-State Athletics. Marcelo Sabates, Associate Dean, International Programs. Please join me in recognizing these individuals. The marshals for today's ceremony are, are Joyce Baptiste, Associate Provost, Family Studies and Human Services, Royce Ann Collins, Associate Professor, Educational Leadership, Gregory Isolein, Professor, English, Kevin Gwinner, Professor, Marketing, and Gerald Klutenberg, Professor, Agronomy, and Bala Natarayan, Professor, Electrical and Computer Engineering. The reader for today's ceremony is Vincent Carlisle, doctoral student, educational leadership. Please join me with a round of applause for these individuals. We're very fortunate to have a member of the Kansas Board of Regents with us this afternoon, and it's my pleasure to introduce Regent Helen Van Etten. Van Etten was appointed to the Kansas Board of Regents by Governor Sam Brambach in 2013. She is the chief audiologist of the Topeka School District. Van Etten currently serves the Eisenhower Excellence in Public Service Series as a member of the Board of Governors, a position she has held since 2010. She has been a member of the American Speech Language Hearing Association and Kansas Speech Language Hearing Association since 1988. From 1988 to 2006, she served on the Board of Directors for the Kansas Commission for the Deaf and Hard of Hearing, and from 2004 to 2007, she was an advisory committee member for Can Be Healthy, a Medicaid program for children, teenagers, and young adults. Van Etten was elected National Committee Woman for the Kansas Republican Party in January 2008. Previously, she was an at-large member of the Kansas Republican Executive Committee and President of the Kansas Federation of Republican Women, Shawnee Chapter. She received a bachelor's degree in education, a master's of audiology, and a doctoral degree in audiology. She is a national board member of the National Federation of the Grand Order of Pachyderm Clubs and is the founder and current president of the Shawnee County Pachyderm Club. Please join me in welcoming Regent Van Etten. Thank you. Provost. Thank you for the introduction, and I'm a little bit short, so I have to move. President Schultz, member of the faculty, staff at Kansas State University, alumni, friends, family, and well wishes of our graduates. And most of you, you who are going to receiving your diploma today, I'm both delighted and honored to bring you the greeting and the best wishes from the Kansas Board of Regents. Thank you for allowing me this time to be with you today to celebrate this remarkable accomplishment. Graduates, this is a very exciting time for you. Commencement symbolize the accumulation of years of hard work, study, and commitment. Commencement also signifies the beginning of the next chapter in your life, where you will set new goals, encounter new challenges, and opportunities. It is in those times where you will show where you have learned in Kansas State University, your ability to think creatively and critically, to judge wisely, and to act responsibly and collaboratively. 
We know that higher education remains to be the best way for us to serve our society, to improve the quality of our, our lives, and raise the standard for our family, and contribute to talent, your talent to the community. As a region, an educator, and an active member of my community, I challenge you to combine unique talent with your skills that you have learned here to not only improve your life, but the life of those around you. Today, you graduate and become the alumni of the Kansas Region System, joining over 350,000 the other alumni residing here in Kansas, either because they graduated and stayed or returned to make Kansas their home. I invite you to stay here in Kansas and continue to grow our communities and our state. I believe as a public education institute in America today, it's not just to produce workers, but to help develop a whole persons who contribute to our economy and contribute to our communities as good citizens, volunteers, friends, neighbors, and mentors. I wish each one of you joy, happiness, fulfillment, wherever you choose your path, what takes you. Someone once has said, the truly exciting thing about your life at this point is there is no more core curriculum. The entire place is an elective. So don't underestimate the power of your choices. We are what we are because the choices we made yesterday. Therefore, believe in yourself and your judgment when you walk through the rooms of your life. Not just look for the faults, but potentials. As Dr. Martin Luther King had once said, you don't have to see the whole staircase, just take the first step. I also hope that you will actively see ways to reach beyond yourself as your faculties and your teachers have reached beyond themselves for you. Some wise man once has said, the soup of civilized life is a nourishing stew, but it doesn't keep bubbling up on its own. Put something back in the pot as you leave for the people in the line behind you. Class 2015, congratulations and best wishes. An honorary degree is among the highest honors a university can bestow and thus is reserved for those who have contributed in very significant ways to advance the quality of life for our citizens and the world. It is therefore with honor and great pride that Kansas State University recognizes an outstanding leader, Ms. Nancy Kassenbaum Baker. Please turn your attention to the video board for a special introduction of Ms. Kassenbaum Baker, our honorary degree recipient and commencement speaker. There may be no need to introduce Nancy Landon Kassebaum Baker. She is probably one of the best known women in the state and the nation. Although she was only a small child when her father, Alfred Landon, was governor of Kansas and a presidential candidate, political discourse was a constant part of her childhood. She has said she sometimes listened to conversations through the heating vent of her bedroom. It's no surprise that she earned a degree in political science and a master's in diplomatic history. But a career in politics was never on her mind as she and her husband raised their four children in Mays, Kansas. Twenty years later, that changed when Senator James Pearson decided not to seek re-election in 1978, Nancy considered entering the race. Her father discouraged her, worried Kansas was not ready for a woman senator. But encouraged by her mother and her former husband, she defeated her Republican rivals and then won the election. Her slogan was, a fresh voice, a trusted Kansas name. The New York Times commented that if her name had been Jones, her campaign would have been a joke. 
Her response was, it is said I am riding on the coattails of my dad, but I can't think of any better coattails to ride on. And obviously, Kansas voters agreed. In this post-Watergate era of distrust, Nancy Landon Kassebaum presented herself as a common sense homemaker. She proved to be a shrewd and tireless campaigner. She not only became Kansas' first female senator, in 1978, she was the only woman in the Senate. She served as temporary chairperson of the 1980 Republican National Convention. Called a maverick by some, she was conservative, independent, and liberal, depending on what she thought was the best solution. She was chair of the Subcommittee on Aviation, and after years of work in 1994, saw the Aviation Liability Insurance Reform passed. She also was chair of the African Subcommittee of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee. As chair of the Health Committee, she gained bipartisan support in 1996 with the help of Senator Ted Kennedy and co-sponsored health care legislation. Easily winning subsequent elections, she chose not to seek a fourth term in 1995, planning on returning to the farm and enjoying her grandchildren. But things didn't turn out that way. In 1996, she married Howard Baker Jr., the former senator from Tennessee. In 2001, Baker was appointed as U.S. Ambassador to Japan, and he and Nancy spent four years in Tokyo. Today, she is on the advisory board for Partnership for a Secure America, dedicated to recreating a bipartisan center in national security and foreign policy. In 2013, she was honored with the Choice of Weapons Award, established in honor of Gordon Parks for her strength of spirit and character. She was instrumental in the establishment of the Tallgrass Prairie National Preserve, the last significant example of Tallgrass Prairie in North America. Her ties to K-State go back to the beginning of the Land and Lecture Series, assisting in bringing speakers to K-State. The Kassebaum Scholarship is named in her honor for her long and respected career in the public sector. She considers her best connection to Kansas State her four children, all graduates of K-State. We honor this Kansan, this maverick, this woman, for all she has done for our state and our nation. Please welcome Nancy Kassebaum Baker. Please be seated. Ms. Kassenbaum Baker, for your leadership, your character, your humanity, and your goodwill, by the authority of the people of Kansas and the Kansas Board of Regents, and upon recommendation of the Kansas State University faculty, I am pleased to confer the Kansas State University Honorary Doctor of Philosophy degree with all of its rights, privileges, and responsibilities. Congratulations. Okay, you gotta put all this stuff on. Ms. Kassenbaum Baker, would you please take this opportunity to offer some remarks to our graduate and the audience? Thank you, President Schultz. Thank you, Provost Mason. And thank you, Dean Shanklin. Distinguished platform members, proud parents and family, and special graduates of the class of 2015. You worked hard to get your degrees today. I'm riding and proud to be riding on your coattails in the class of 2015. I suppose it would be best just to say after all of the video and so forth, I should just say thank you and sit down. And that you probably wish. 
But it, when you ask someone to be a commencement speaker, it's very tempting to try and go on a little bit. We are now in a new era where many forces have combined to produce unprecedented progress and unacceptable uncertainty. We are immediately connected worldwide as never before. It's amazing how one can Skype around the world, informed but perhaps less understanding. It is difficult to gain perspective on the vast array of the crises occurring on social media. Faced with bewildering array of actions and reactions, we find it difficult, if not impossible, to discern what is truly important, which, if any of the changes occurring around us, are fundamental and which are superficial. President Eisenhower, whose li presidential library, as you know, is just down the road, in his farewell address in 1958, gave advice which I believe is equally fitting today. And just to quote from one part of it, and the whole address is very significant. Balance in and among national programs, balance between action of the moment and national welfare of the future, good judgment seeks balance and progress. Lack of it eventually finds violence and frustration. We should be seeking balance for a changing world order. I would like to briefly mention several issues which I believe have a common thread through them. Whether we are debating the possibility of a nuclear agreement with Iran, sending more troops into the Middle East, fighting extremist ideology in all of its cruel and brutal guises, the growing presence of China in the South China Sea, on the dominant posture of President Putin in Russia. We need to comprehend and debate with a degree of knowledge about that of which we speak. The answer does not lie in social media or gained in 60-second sound bites. It really lies within ourselves. Too often we delight in polarizing our differences without much thought in the way that message sounds to the rest of the world. Health care. Do we trust the insurance companies, the doctors, our own family and friends? Certainly not the government, even though we forget where Medicare and Medicaid comes from. There does seem to have been vociferous disagreement with President Obama. However, to just reject and say no does not solve the problem. With rapidly changing demographics and costs, this is an enormously important topic which requires objective analysis and a willingness of Congress to spend the time to address the changes that can be made to improve the Affordable Care Act. Education and trust provide the thread that helps us answer complex questions and the demands that are on each of us as citizens. We have a responsibility to be participants in government at all levels, local, state, and federal. One of the most difficult, because I served on a rural school board, is probably school boards. But school boards, county commissions, city commissions, all make a difference. And it starts within our communities. It starts with where we live. 
It starts with where we're willing to engage ourselves and to vote. We will never agree on all issues, nor should we. But we can respect and understand through informed decisions the appreciation of trust. So often people say, well, I don't trust them. I don't know who to trust. No, but then's the time we need to be involved. We can earn trust and we must always respect. Education is a valued part of helping us achieve our goals and our knowledge of the world around us. I'm not going to speak to what kind of tests we should have, how we should teach. I do know that we all here probably remember a teacher who was special in our years in school. I usually was somewhat fearful of one teacher I had for English, but she demanded and she was dedicated and I always respected her, even though I frequently didn't get a very good grade. <laughs> Teachers are our true public servants and they deserve the recognition and support. Salute to the teachers here who will be guiding us and helping us learn for the future. You know, it is 10 years from now. The pace, at the pace we're going today, the world will have changed beyond our present recognition. It is a very difficult for me to realize. We already have cars that drive themselves, robots assisting doctors, artificial intelligence may be just around the corner. New medicines, new challenges, and our most fervent hope for a world that's more peaceful. It's very reassuring to me that our basic values will remain the same. I would like to close with some lines from Sophocles' great and tragic play, Antigone. I would love to be able to talk more about it, but I know you don't want to hear a lengthy discussion. But just if I may close, do not have one mind and one alone, that only your opinion can be right. A man, though wise, should never be ashamed of learning more and must unbend his mind. I know my own children probably thought I never would unbend my mind, but I do think it's something to be mindful of as you face the future. It is a challenging time, but I am confident that you know how to provide the leadership necessary, and I have great confidence that the future will be in good hands with the graduates we have today. With my congratulations and warmest best wishes always, it's a great class, and I'm proud to be a part of it. Thank you. Dr. Casabon Baker. I'm glad I get to wear a hood. <laughs> Please accept this gift of appreciation for being our commencement speaker today. Join me again in thanking Dr. Casabon Baker for her inspirational commencement address and to congratulate her as an honorary doctorate recipient from Kansas State University. Please welcome Amy Button Rents, President and CEO of the K State Alumni Association. Thank you, Dean Shanklin.
I'm pleased to be part of your special day and offer congratulations on behalf of the K-State Alumni Association and more than 175,000 graduates who will be your lifelong K-State family. Today, as you receive your degree, we are honored to recognize you and all you have accomplished. If this is your first degree from K-State, we also welcome you into a new relationship with your newest alma mater. Our mission at the Alumni Association is to lead and inspire lifelong involvement that will benefit Kansas State University and all members of our Wildcat community. I would like to share three of our core values that guide us in our mission to keep you connected with K-State. The first one is LINK. The Alumni Association provides the lifelong link that alumni depend on to remain connected. You can stay in touch through hundreds of alumni activities held on campus, around the country, and internationally. Another value is tradition. You will likely celebrate a few traditions today as you sing the alma mater or take KSU photos at your favorite spot on campus. The third core value is purple. For K-Staters, it's more than a color. It's a symbol of pride and connection. When you see someone wearing the K-State purple or a class ring, you will feel that sense of family. In recognition of your graduation, the Graduate School and the Alumni Association are providing you with a complimentary one-year membership to the Alumni Association. We recognize though some of you are already members, but we hope you will enjoy the membership benefits and please continue to be an active member. Our alumni are among the most loyal in the country. In fact, you are now part of the number one alumni association in the Big 12 Conference based on the percentage of graduates who are members of the association. I'm also proud to share that we've been number one, not one or two, three years, but 19 consecutive years, and we're very proud of that fact. This loyalty is shared worldwide by generations of K-Staters who have the same passion for K-State that you feel today as you earn your degree from one of the finest universities in the country. The Alumni Association is also pleased to present you with an exclusive alumni pin as you walk across the stage, and we hope you will enjoy it. As you go through life and your titles and your addresses change, please be sure to let us know. We want to make sure you are always connected to your K-State family and celebrate with you. Congratulations and go State! Thank you, Amy. Now join me in welcoming Amanda Martin, President of the Graduate Student Council, who will bring greetings from your colleagues. Thank you, Dean Shanklin. Good afternoon. On behalf of the Graduate Student Council, I want to offer my sincerest congratulations on receiving your graduate degrees today. It is an honor to be a part of today's commencement ceremony and to recognize the hard work and accomplishments of the graduate students at K-State. As your Graduate Student Council President, I have had the pleasure of working closely with many of you. As such, I wanted to extend a special thank you to those of you who have served in leadership and or service roles and to those of you who have participated in activities and events hosted by the Graduate Student Council. Without your involvement, the Graduate Student Council would not be the organization it is today. It is your service and participation that has contributed to the increasing and the quality of graduate student life and making the overall graduate student experience the best it can be at K-State. Congratulations on your accomplishments and best wishes for a successful future. Thank you, Amanda. As a research institution, Kansas State University has a responsibility and an obligation to provide not only a high quality undergraduate education, but to offer advanced education to students who have the ambition and intellectual curiosity to deepen their knowledge and command of their discipline or interdisciplinary programs. As our graduates know, this pursuit is very demanding yet invigorating process that they've gone through. I anticipate our graduates will remember their time in graduate school, as I still do mine, as one of the most exciting yet humbling times of my career. Many have contributed to your completing your advanced degree, your family, the friends and colleagues you've made while at K-State, and others who have surrounded you, 
Only you know who have provided your support system. Graduates, please acknowledge those who have supported you in the pursuit and completion of your degree today. Another important group we need to recognize at this time is the students' mentors, the graduate faculty of the university who have worked closely with these graduates and contributed in significant ways to the completion of their studies we officially recognize today. Graduate faculty, please stand so we can show our appreciation for mentoring these graduates with a round of applause. Thank you for your dedication and service to graduate education at K-State. Now is the time that all of you have been waiting with, the conferring of the degrees. We will begin by recognizing the Doctor of Philosophy, Doctor of Education, and Masters of Fine Art degree candidates. These candidates will advance to the platform to be hooded. We believe it is appropriate that this final ceremonial honor is performed by the graduate's major professor in recognition of the contributions the faculty member has made in the development of these scholars. The graduates will then be presented their diplomas. Candidates, please rise. President Schultz, on behalf of the graduate faculty of Kansas State University, I am pleased to present to you the doctoral and capstone master's degree recipients of spring 2015. By the authority of the people of Kansas and the Kansas Board of Regents, and upon the recommendation of the graduate faculty, I am pleased to confer Kansas State University degrees upon you, the graduating class of spring of 2015. Congratulations. Candidates, you may now be seated until the marshal directs you to stand, be hooded, and receive your diploma. Please remember to bring your hood and your reader card to the stage with you. Doctor of Philosophy in Agricultural Economics, Brady Brewer. Hooded by Alan Featherstone. Yan Heng. Hooded by Hikaru Peterson. Doctor of Philosophy in Agronomy. Jack Yushin Ho. Hooded by Deanne Presley. Joshua David Jennings. Hooded by Craig Rosenbaum. George Mahama, hooded by Craig Rosenboom. <laughs> Shutri Narayanan, hooded by Ruth Welty. <laughs> Doctor of Philosophy in Animal Science, Kyle Cobble, hooded by Joel Derushi, co hooded by James Poole. Doctor of Philosophy in Food Science, Ferris Karim, hooded by Kelly Getty. <laughs> Doctor of Philosophy in Genetics, Damian Downs, hooded by Richard Todd. <laughs> Banu Kalia, hooded by Vikram Gill. Doctor of Philosophy in Brain Science, Cheryl Cropper, hooded by John Fabian, co-hooded by Julia Dogan. Yixin Zhang, hooded by Praween Wenkata Wadlani.
Doctor of Philosophy in Biochemistry, Adriana Avila, hooded by John Tomek. Sarah Duhachik Muggy, hooded by Anna Zokwalska. Doctor of Philosophy in Biology, Brian Kearns, hooded by David Hocus. Doctor of Philosophy in Chemistry, Brian M. Barngrover, hooded by Christine Akins. Stephen Arnold Plankowski, hooded by Juing Li. Lushi Swisher, hooded by Juing Li. Tan Hoatran Ba, hooded by Takashi Ito. Danushi Validenya, hooded by Krister Akeroy. Doctor of Philosophy in Economics, Eugenio Palu, hooded by Stephen Kesu. Edye Shadmani, hooded by Stephen Kesu. Sohail Rashid Nadimi, hooded by Lance Bachmeyer. Tyson Thomas, hooded by Philip Gale. Jason Waller, hooded by Yang Ming Cheng. Doctor of Philosophy in Geography, Lynn Ferrara Bryan, hooded by Douglas Gooden. Doctor of Philosophy in Physics, Shuo Zeng, hooded by Amit Chirabati. Doctor of Philosophy in Psychology, Laura Adair, hooded by Gary Graves. Kyle Van Ittersom, hooded by Clive Fulaga. Doctor of Philosophy in Security Studies, Rabia Akter, hooded by David Stone. Doctor of Philosophy in Statistics, Mohammed Omar Sa Tut, hooded by Haiyan Wang. Doctor of Philosophy in Counseling and Student Development, Johnella Holmes, hooded by Ken Hewley, co hooded by Kekoli Bhattacharya. Barney King, hooded by Fred Bradley. James Robert Love, hooded by Judy Huey. Doctor of Philosophy in Curriculum and Instruction, Jeffrey Scott Bishop. Hooded by Frederick Burrock. Gabriela Diaz de Sabates, diploma presented by her husband, Dr. Marcelo Sabates. Hooded by K. Ann Taylor. <laughs> Stephanie K. McNamara, hooded by Chung Hee Kim. Deborah Ann North, hooded by Gail Schroyer. K. 
Kevin Spleekall, hooded by Debbie Mercer. Doctor of Education and Educational Leadership, Kenneth Christopher Botts, hooded by Mary Devon. Deborah Lynn Hauser, hooded by Mary Devon. Jessica Lee Elmore, hooded by Brian Nehaw. Jacqueline Mariah Gatson, hooded by Michael Holland. Jill Elaine Gonzalez Bravo, hooded by Donna Augustine Shaw. Doctor of Philosophy in Chemical Engineering, Leslie Schulte, hooded by Marie Rizak. Sebastian Wendell, hooded by Stefan Bossman. Doctor of Philosophy in Civil Engineering, Ahmed Aramani, hooded by Haider Rashid. Matthew James Williamson, hooded by Mustak Hossein. Doctor of Philosophy in Computer Science, Denise Marie Case hooded by Scott Delore. Joseph Paul Lancaster, Jr., hooded by David Gustafson. <laughs> Karthik Thangrirala, hooded by Danya Kurazda. Doctor of Philosophy in Electrical Engineering, Mohammed Tasheldin. Hooded by Bala Naturanja. Dulan Pirasingha. Hooded by Ruth Douglas Miller. Doctor of Philosophy in Industrial Engineering, Mohammed Saeed Obedat. Hooded by Brad Kramer. Sao Shu Song, hooded by Bradley Kramer. <laughs> Doctor of Philosophy in Mechanical Engineering, Lamuel Abrahim David, hooded by Gupreet Sid. <laughs> Mahir Sahada, hooded by Brian Jones. Doctor of Philosophy in Nuclear Engineering, Mohammed Ismail, hooded by William Dunn. Amgad Mohammed, hooded by William Dunn. Doctor of Philosophy in Human Ecology. Patricia Barros Gomez, hooded by Joyce Baptiste, co hooded by Sandra Stiff. Erica Nicole Smith Marek, hooded by Joyce Baptiste. Brian Michael Cafferkey, hooded by Jared Anderson. Anita K. Dale, hooded by Christy Archuleta. Erica Marie Rasher, hooded by Christy Archuleta.
Edward J. Horitz, hooded by Martin C., co-hooded by Christy Archuleta. Jeffrey Spencer Nelson, hooded by Sonia Britt, co-hooded by Martin C. Amber Howells, hooded by Kevin Sauer, co-hooded by Carol Shanklin. Shakita Miller, hooded by Charlotte Shoup Olson, co-hooded by Farrell Webb. Adnad Mohammed Ahmed Al Kayari, hooded by Farrell Webb. Lauren Reiter, hooded by Kim Hiller Connell. Sarah Azarani, hooded by Kim Hiller Connell. D. Scott Sibley, hooded by Amber Venom. Doctor of Biology and Path of Doctor of Philosophy and Pathobiology, Vinay Sinvanya, hooded by T. G. Nagaranja. Susan Moore, hooded by Elizabeth Davis. Doctor of Philosophy in Physiology, Brian Michael Brocksterman, hooded by Thomas Barstow. Master of Fine Arts, Coley Kestrel Kale Riggs, hooded by Duckno Yoon. Sarah Ellen McNutt, hooded by Duckno Yoon. Jolyn K. Rigala, hooded by Jason Swella. Abigail Thompson, hooded by Rebecca Hackman Ballman. Doctor of Philosophy in Electrical Engineering, Ola Ali Altanani, hooded by Sanjoy Das, co-hooded by Mohammed Garaiba. Chen Jia, hooded by Donghe Wong, co-hooded by Susan Sun. Doctor of Philosophy in Mechanical Engineering, Chao Yan Yang, hooded by Yongyi Wang.
Congratulations to each of you and best wishes in the future. Let's recognize our terminal degree candidates one last time. Now it's your turn. We will now recognize the master degree candidates. Candidates, please rise and remain standing. President Schultz, on behalf of the graduate faculty of Kansas State University, I am pleased to present the master's degree recipients of spring 2015. By the authority of the people of Kansas and the Kansas Board of Regents, and upon the recommendation of the graduate faculty, I am pleased to confer Kansas State University degrees upon you, the graduating class of spring 2015. Congratulations. Candidates, you may now be seated until the marshal directs you to stand and receive your diploma. Please remember to bring your reader card with you to the stage. Master of Agribusiness, Brett Goodman. Jacob Leif Maurer. Andy Montgomery. Brian Myers. Winnie Kesoma Healy. Amid Rutaru. Misty Trumbull, Zephrain Shifambi, <laughs> Master of Science in Agricultural Economics, Casey Karen, Heather Nicole Gibson, Shelby Hill, Hannah Louise Miller, Mario Amado Ortez. Lacey Lynn Ward. Master of Science in Agricultural Education and Communication, Robert Bud McKendry. Jennifer Lauren Ray. Scott Stebner. Jesse Marie Topp. Master of Science in Agronomy. Megan Sterling Brown. Andy Marie Christensen. Randy Darrell DeGrief. Andrew James Dillon. Bryson Haverkamp. Maddie Beth Kirkendall. Lauren May Lang. Master of Science in Animal Science, Lindsay Christine Grimes. Allison McKernan. Carson James McMullen. Kelly Radelek. Ethan Schlegel. Angela Vesco. Master of Science in Entomology, Jessica Marie Kivett. Master of Science in Food Science, Victoria Lynn Frazier. Clinton Richard Kyle. Catherine Ann Lynch. Shelby Marie Magnuson. Nia Mashrari. Afori Jonathan. Ashley Schlange. Sarah Byington. 
Amy Julia Sordnit. Master of Science in Grain Science, Pei Wan Manepali. Yingnan Hef Zhao. Master of Architecture, Ian McLean Cole. Master of Interior Architecture and Product Design, Anthony Patrick Dorrell. Master of Science in Architecture, Dixia Powell-Dell. Rabia Kureshi. Maria Cecilia Roca. Master of Arts in Communication Studies, Sarah Marie Norville. Corey Jan Rutlinger. Master of Arts in Economics, Brandon Eli Blagg. Jonathan Newbel. Master of Arts in English, Lacey Brummer. <laughs> Zian Marie Butler. <laughs> Heather Sue Etomaki. <laughs> Sierra Hale. <laughs> Lindsay Lee Hamilton. <laughs> Elizabeth May Hoyt. Elizabeth Croucher. Allison Paige Cooney. Katie Cassandra Long. Erica Ruscio. Brandon Schneeberger. Carmen Mercedes Schober. Ian Sinnott. Alexis Smith, Adam Satella, Robert Eric Tippin, Master of Arts in Geography, Tyler Thomas Link, Master of Arts in History, Ryan Martin Bach, Brendan Andrew Nepper. Master of Arts in Modern Languages, Anna Berikayan. <laughs> Carlos Alberto Barón. Elizabeth Anne Chevalier. <laughs> Sophia Dongili. <laughs> Melissa Nicole Emerson. Erica Annette McMillan. Amanda Mendoza, Stephen Nomora, Blanca Elena Oviedo Loredo, Kelsey Welliver, Tianchi Drong, Master of Arts in Political Science, Leo Rosenberg. Master of Arts in Security Studies, Christina Renee Ocht. Adam Christopher Beaver. Sean Renee Charvet. David Chickadee. Ricardo Henry Jr. Benjamin R. Hopper, Ryan B. Kelly, Douglas Allen Locke III, Jared Ostman, Constance Grace Quinlan, Elizabeth Allison Womble, Master of Arts in Theater, Lavon Canfield, Jesse L. Greenfield, Barrett William Scroggs, Master of Music, Deborah Ashton Caldwell, Christopher Scott Johnson, 
Jung Hwan Kim, Aaron Lee Coleman, Nicole Jeanette Lemoyne, Anna Elizabeth Ryder Gard, Emily R. Roth, Master of Public Administration, Luke James Drury, Chelsea Eimer, Jasmine Brittany Green, Lyle Layton Gunn, Tian Liu, Master of Science in Biology, Jane Fensel, Aporwa Reddy, Master of Science in Chemistry, Keith Eldred Alquist, Samantha Ann Stewart James, Rebecca Suzanne Sutton, Master of Science in Geology, Sultan Al Kamali, Helder Ivan Alderez, Jennifer Elizabeth Rosebaum, Master of Science in Mass Communications, Catherine Mays, Chao Nong, Faith. Muthani Tanji, Ji Zhu, Master of Science in Kinesiology, Sydney Elizabeth Messick, Jesse Charles Craig, Tammy Michelle Cooley Paolili, Master of Science in Psychology. Anthony W. McCoy, Emily K. Reinhardt, Matthias Simmons, Master of Science in Statistics, Nicholas Blado, Seth Rydell, Master of Accountancy, Emily K. Apple. Katrina Nicole Brassfield, Zachary Christian Brown, Sai Cheng, Tanner Dean Dutton, Aaron Marine Ebling, Yi Gu. Krista Marie Holman, Megan Lee Hood, Shane Nickel, Chen Tu, Larissa Jean Schilling, Nathan John Simonson, Brandon Joey Smith. Dakota Spencer, Cindy Steeter, Christy Lynn Swart, Grant Varsestrom, Ryan Michael Wilson, Xinyi Wu. Master of Business Administration, Xiaolei An. Jonathan Ock. Andra Baras. William Leslie Beaton. Chad Kaufman. Brian Coglin. Jared Allen Emmett, 
Elvis Hotzik. Alyssa Lauren Huff. Adam Scott Jimison. Jin Lu. Aparna Lahia. David Mrozinski. Ty Murray. Rachel Lee Peters, Peters. Daniel Wood. Yi Wu. Eugene Zheng. Master of Science in Academic Advising, Brandy Michelle Bailey. Miriam Gertrude Engel Bush. Leslie Renee Jakeman. Amy Lynn Morgan. Denon Morrow. Kevin O'Connor. Melita Louise Prince. Jessica Marie Sakaris. Corey Allen Trader. Mark Vector. Nicole Elbin, Nicole Ellen Wilbert. Shayla Marie Yon. Master of Science in Adult, Occupational, and Continuing Education, John Christopher Anderson, Jr. Christine Marie Barrett. David John Bodwin. Chad Bennett. Aaron Lee Billingsley. Anne Elizabeth Bonner. Juan J. Burgos Rosado. Paul Case. Sean Michael Chermer. Alberto Cordova. Susan Crew. Julie Henry Dinisco. Jesse James Erickson. Daniel M. Farley. Kyle Gaylor. Karen House Graves. Nelson Gray. Latoya Marisit Jackson Manzi. Cameron Johnson. Jason Stephen Kittleson. Ruth Hughes Lambert. Leah Jane Latto. Gerald Scott Law. Jeremy Hannon Lyons. Robert McBride. Timothy Migliori. Michael J. Noriega. Glenn Scott Nitrauer. Tracy A. Olson. Christopher William Pierce. Brandon Sawyer. Reagan Sawyer. Larry Dean Schmittendorf. 
Brian Stidham. Jacqueline Kincaid Stillwell. Catherine Michelle Sumrold. Jacob Tepleski. Adam Ray K. Tobias. Giannice Ward. Rose Ross Warren. Francis Lynn Waugh. Patrick Joseph Weaver. James Wiltsey. Kenna Zumalt. Master of Science in Counseling and Student Development, Andrew Beck. Rommel Boyser. Calvin James Boren. Megan Carroll. Summer Patterson Schaufelnd. Bethany Marie Dreys. Antoinette Suter Coulter. Emily A. Garvey. Jill Ann Gerloff. Jamie Lee Harrigers. Tess Elizabeth Hobson. Samantha Highland. Tyler John Harrison Kai. Rissa Langelo. Lindsay Ann Lamus. Aubrey Michelle Luby. Teresa Marie Linsman. Corin Ashley Martin. Jared Lee Meitler. Robert A. Morin. Nicole Muhlmans. Troy Allen Pike. Andrew Joseph Posen. Matthew Ross Seidner. Amanda Elizabeth Nolasco. Anne Elizabeth Talley. Master of Science in Curriculum and Instruction, Melissa Orley Castillo. Elizabeth Disbro. Amanda Beth Dufresne. Erica Gaswent. Beth Hanna. Kelsey Renee Headland. Sean Michael Horning. Heather Jane Hoskinson. Sandra Ann Leiterman. Stephen Lane Maltby. Cassandra Lee Obit. Amber Nicole Schaefer. Brooke Nicole Pino. Esperanza Macarena Schweier Wickert. Master of Science in Educational Leadership, Nadia Abdullah. Jennifer Lynn Gragson. Jonathan Allen Eisner. Eschner. Master of Science in Special Education, Stacy Marie Bowman. Jennifer Falling. 
Hannah Hemberger. Sherry Ray Johnson. Courtney Robin Tracy. Wallace Christina. Amy Renee Young. Master of Engineering Management, Barry Brent. Alyssa Ann Zimmerman. Master of Science in Architectural Engineering, Hassam Fami. <laughs> Peng Zheng Ching. <laughs> Renee Li. <laughs> Master of Science in Biological and Agricultural Engineering, Danny Song. Miriam Hema Kasi. Devin Lynn Mangus. Shannon Marie Mudd. Master of Science in Civil Engineering, Aladdin Abuelio. Alamanti Aluja. Jeremy Bischoff. Tzdi Nwakwala. Michael Snap. Tree Tran. Master of Science in Computer Science, Kaushik Achutha. Ankit Bajpai. Tanya Bandopade. Svapna Banjaki. Zayi Barath Guda. Anirudh Jagithyala. Hemela Kanganda. Shialaja Madala. Priyanka Masuram. Tijita. Rudra Raju. Anirud Tadakamala. Joshua Wirtz. Master of Science in Electrical Engineering, Andrew Fund. Kumar Jala. Philip Keel. Chitong Lui, Master of Science in Industrial Engineering, Ryan Ashelman, Ahmed Bin Ali Aliyed, Aliyed. <laughs> Muhammad Hussein Amini, Thomas Charles Bolton, Landon Davis. Dylan Michael Johnson. Krista Kubik. Kyle Joseph Neely. Adam J. Robel. Donald Sketchley. Master of Science in Mechanical Engineering, Albert Adam Abraham. Michael Levi Madden. Jake William Roth. Alexander Van Dyke. Master of Science in Nuclear Engineering, Richard McCulloch. Richard Leroy Reed, Jr. Master of Science in Operations Research, LaRue Brown. Master of Software Engineering, Shani Kumar. Sripriya Mary. Master of Science in Apparel and Textiles, 
Julia Wallace. Master of Science in Family and Community Services, Jackie Lynn Yu. Master of Science in Family Studies and Human Services, Kaylee Denise Ansager. Maria Baker. Rachel Baker. Tess Kira Burrow. Ellen Corindon. Marcy Corpstein. Kristen Michelle Dorsey. Cameron Dowell. Lindsay Ann Elder. Joshua Scott Frey. Taran Ann Frick. Rebecca Fusero. Kristen Mercedes Garcia. Christopher Stephen Steven Grintner. Rayoni jo Madison Jones. Holly Michelle Kraus. Sarah Coborn. Amber Marie Cuckelman. Nicole Lawson. Molly Ann McGoy. Emily Morris. Shayna Pryor Jenkins. Morgan Renee Ratz. Megan Elizabeth Van Sui. Jordan Christine Weideman. Alfonso Starling. Margaret Alice Weller. Master of Science in Hospitality and Dianetics Administration, Heidi Weil. Wenhao Chang. Master of Science in Gerontology, Megan Lindsay Wood. Heath Roth. Master of Science in Human Nutrition, Noor Latifa Mardiyati. Colby Samuel Tiemann. Master of Public Health, Priscilla Rose De Los Santos. Zorwe Hutu. John E. Lawrence. Christopher Michael Lewis. Master of Science in Biomedical Science, Deanna Dewsbury. Russell Ransberg. Margaret Erin Stevens. Master of Science in Community Development, Lakeisha Shani Glover.
Congratulations to each of you. We wish you all the best as you go out into the world and make your unique mark. We hope each of you will stay engaged with Kansas State University, seek opportunities to serve as mentors to students, keep your mentors and the Graduate School and Alumni Association updated on your successes, and recruit more excellent students to Kansas State University. Remember, you are our best ambassadors and recruiters. I encourage each of you to be active members of the K-State family by sharing your talents and your gifts to support future graduate students and to enhance the graduate student experience. Please join me in recognizing Kansas State University Spring 2015 graduates one more time. I would like to take this final opportunity to express my sincere appreciation for all those who have contributed to the success of today's ceremony. I want to thank the marshals, members of the graduate school staff, the staff in communication and marketing, and the staff in the provost office who have all worked hard for an early conduct of the ceremony. Above all, on behalf of the faculty, I want to thank you, our graduates, for sharing a part of your lives with us in the last few years. You have made a difference in our lives and we hope we've made a difference in yours and will continue to do so. We invite everyone to attend the reception on the concourse near section six. We ask the audience to remain seated when the graduates are uh, leaving in the recessional until the graduates, faculty, and platform parties have made their way to the concourse. Would everyone please stand and join Ms. Ellen Kuhlman in singing the alma mater as we close the ceremony. The words are printed on page three of the program.